What's up YouTube? This is Jeremiah James. We have got a finger picking guitar lesson here per request of a subscriber. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to learn that progression I just played in the introduction. And it's a great progression because what we're doing with our left hand really requires minimal work. We're pretty much staying on the same chord shape, just moving it up and down the frets. And we are allowing this right hand to get the workout in so we can focus on our finger picking with our right hand. Now before we start talking about how to finger pick with this right hand, let's talk about positioning your guitar and setting yourself up for success before you get into actually finger picking. I used to teach guitar lessons and a lot of things I would see people do is set the guitar like this. Don't do that. It's just not a good habit to get into. What you want is the guitar to be perpendicular. Um, you want this arch right here to sit on your thigh and you want the guitar to be up against your chest so that it's perpendicular to your lap. Another thing you don't want to do is you do not want to lean your head over the guitar and have to look at the fretboard. You want to get used to just having your fingers on the frets, feeling them, and hearing whether or not the notes are right. It's going to be painful at first, but it's a good habit to develop and your playing is going to really improve from doing them. So once you have the guitar positioned properly on your lap, you want to make sure that your elbow is sitting and resting on the butt of the guitar, and that should allow you to have your hand right over the sound hole on the strings. If that is not comfortable, you might want to go find a different size guitar. I've seen people with guitars way too small, way too big, vice versa, and it's just an uncomfortable feeling. So don't waste your time and don't struggle through it. Just go find a guitar that is going to suit you best. Okay, so now that we have our guitar positioned properly, we can talk about what's going on with our right hand here. So which of our fingers is the most dexterous? It's our thumb, right? Well, for some people it might be their, their index finger, or, you know, they might have some crazy joints that they can do crazy things with. But for most of us, our index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky move comfortably back and forth. But our thumb is dexterous and it can move omnidirectionally 360 degrees pretty much. So because of that, our thumb is the most powerful and we're going to leave most of the work in the finger picking to our thumb. So our thumb is going to have three strings assigned to it. It's going to have the E, the A, the D, so those top three strings your thumb is going to be responsible for. Your index finger is going to get the G string, that's the fourth string down. Your middle finger will get the B string, that's the fifth string down. And your ring finger will get that high E string, which is all the way at the bottom. In terms of your hand sitting and resting, it's okay to have your ring finger, your middle finger, and your index finger tucked under the strings. Um, just so you can kind of feel where you're at. It, oftentimes it's hard if your hand is, is hanging out too much, but you also don't want to dig your fingers way into the strings there. Um, so it's okay to just have your fingertips resting on the strings there so you can feel where you're at. Same thing with the thumb, so it's okay to have a position like this. And when you're actually picking the strings, the motion you want is to come from this joint here. You don't want to be doing that, you want to be doing that, if that makes sense, because you're going to have more power that way. All right, so now we know our position of our guitar, and we know which fingers play what strings. So now let's add a chord in, and let's put a basic finger picking pattern together here. We're going to start out with the E chord, uh, the chart right here. What we're going to do next is we're going to pick our high E and our low E simultaneously. That means we're using our ring finger and our thumb. Next we're going to pick our B string with our middle finger and we're going to pick our G string with our index finger. So all together that sounds like this. Now we're going to give our thumb a break and we're going to pick E, B, G again. So that means ring finger, middle finger, index. And then we're 
we're going to pick our high E again and our B. So that goes. We're going to do that twice. So that was one bar. We're going to do two bars of that. Then we're going to slide that E shape up to the sixth fret. So your index is on the 6th fret, middle finger and ring finger are on the 7th frets. And we're going to do the same finger picking pattern. So high E and our low E together. Then we're going to pick our B, G, and then we're going to go high E, B, G, high E, B. Okay, so do that for two bars again. two, and then we're going to go back to our E chord. Two bars. Up to this other chord. Back to your E. Okay, so if you're a beginner, it's not going to come easy, it's not going to sound pretty right off the bat, but just focus on not developing bad habits, don't let your hands rest on the pick guard, just put up with the awkwardness, keep practicing, and before you know it, you'll be a pro at it. So something you can do to spice that progression up, and also practice uh, developing some autonomy with your thumb, is introducing this other chord, where our thumb is going to move down to the D string. So this chord, we're going to have our index finger on the 5th fret of the G, and our ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string. And we're going to pick our D and our high E simultaneously, instead of our low E and our high E. But the nice thing is, the rest of the finger picking pattern remains the same. So. That's E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B. Okay, and then you just go back to your E chord, where now you're switching your thumb back to your low E. Okay, so that's all we're going to talk about in this lesson. I just wanted to give you guys two chord progressions and patterns that you can practice to start working on your finger picking. There's tons of other videos out there that do a phenomenal job describing how to finger pick and other exercises you guys can do. If this helped you, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment below if it didn't. Let me know what I can do better. I'm always listening. Um, and if there's more you want to learn about finger picking or guitar tutorials for new songs, go ahead and comment below because I'd love to help you guys out. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.